Sunnyville Library. This is Donna speaking. Uh, hello, Donna. This is Tilly Green. I'm sorry, what? I, cu I couldn't quite hear that. <laughs> you are in a library, yes? Uh... I got a question for you. What's the best story? Oh, oh, uh, the, be the best story in the, in the library, or...? Uh... Yeah, I like anything with cats, fairy tales, and murder mysteries. Uh... Is there, like, a kitty cat murder mystery? Well, we we do have a, a lovely series about a cat named Duncan. Okay, uh, does somebody get murdered? W well, uh, no, no one gets murdered. Okay, then but, no. Oh, uh, okay. What else? We have some great books where the detective has a cat. No, 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 no. The kitty cat's got to be the one doing the work. So you want... The... I'd like a kitty cat mystery. You know what, Donna? You seem like a creative individual. Why don't we just write one? A, a, a kitty cat. Clearly, there's a need for it in the library. Why don't we just write it? Oh, uh... It should start in a small town, because I feel like that's a great setting for a book. Charming. It should be fall, I think. Write that down. Uh... Then maybe they go to a neighboring town to a trampoline store. They're jumping around, looking for clues on the ceiling. Maybe there could be a, a pirate sequence. Then they blast off into space looking for clues there. I'm sorry, space? You never know where you could find a clue. Uh, okay, wait, wait. Yeah, maybe they take a detour to a wave pool. That sounds fun. Are you taking notes right now? Oh, uh, I, I can't say that I was, but uh, what was your name again? Tilly Green. We'll have to figure out who gets credit on the cover. You know, was mainly my brainchild. I, I don't actually write stories here. I, I just help people find books that have already been written. Right, so I'll call you next week to check on the chapters. Um, I cannot wait to read our book. Hey, plus pawn shop. Hi, um, my name's Cricket, and uh, I'm in a, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Mm -hmm. Uh, you sell a bunch of stuff down there? It's a pawn shop. What do you mean? What, what are you looking for? Do you sell um swords? I need a sword. Here we got swords. Okay, good. Oh, I'm gonna need one because I, I was using my grandma's sword. And uh, I was, like, twirling around with it, but my hands were covered in a bunch of soap, and uh, it slipped right out, and it hit a, a wall, and it shattered. Mm -hmm. If she finds out, I mean, I don't even want to know, so I got to replace this fast, man. All right, why don't you can come on down with you, see what we got when you get here. There's a little issue with um, the replacement. Uh, What's the issue? I don't have money. But I was figuring, since you guys are a pawn shop, that, um, you know, we could do some kind of bartering. You ever been to a pawn shop? No. Yeah, it all, it all depends on what you're bringing in, what the, if it's worth something, if it's antique. Yeah, I'll bring in some stuff. I got some drawings. You bring in, like, artwork. That's fine. We, we, we take artwork. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd call it artwork. Hey, how old are you? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, a, an, I'm an adult who can do business. Mm-hmm. So I'll just come on down. Is that enough if I just bring a couple drawings of mine? Because they're pretty good. Are you bringing drawings or you have art? Like artwork? Of course it's artwork. It's great. And I made it myself, so... Mm -hmm. Well, I could bring something else. My dad's got some tools. What kind of tools? What are you looking for? You got power equipment. You got... What, you got a tractor. You got hand tools. You got construction tools. What are we talking? He's got a tractor. I can drive it down there. Well, don't drive it. The... Would you give me a sword for his tractor? Sounds great. Got yourself a deal, buddy. I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks for calling the Historic Pinnacle Hotel. This is Mark. How can I assist you? Well, hello, Mark. I was just wondering if your hotel is a normal hotel. Oh, I would say the Pinnacle Hotel is uh, anything but normal. Oh, good. Wonderful. Do uh, you feel like there's all kinds of strange happenings around the hotel? Uh, Have the eyes in the paintings on the walls been moving around? Sorry, what? Has anybody heard voices or something that might sound like this? I, I, I really don't think that's the case. I heard that there's been lots of events happening at your hotel that cannot be explained, Mark. Well, we did have an incident in the kitchen. I guess what you're saying is, the hotel is haunted. Oh, I never said that. No, uh, no, it's actually exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking to make a ghost friend. 
a ghost friend. You see, I have lots of activities planned for this ghost. We'll call her Belinda for Belinda and I to do. Okay. We go to the spa. We have some high tea. We do have a tea room. Uh, I can, right? I can put you down. Perfect. For... Make a reservation for Tilly Green and Belinda the ghost. Listen, there are no ghosts at the Pinnacle Hotel. Wait. I don't know why I didn't realize this sooner. Are you perhaps the ghost? Um, what? I, I'm not a ghost, okay? I got a strong feeling in my bones that you are. Listen, if this is a joke, I, I'm no, very busy. No, don't hang up. Mark, Mark, no, no, no. Listen, please. Oh, you're still there. Uh, yes, I am. Oh, good. Uh, we take our clients very seriously, okay? If you want to stay here, please come on down. If you can book a lunch for... Absolutely. Tilly Green? Yes. And Mark the Ghost, that's it. Okay, all right. I'll see you later, ghost friend. Fishhaven Aquarium, can I help you? Hi, my name is Cricket. You're not, like, under the water right now, are you? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I like to play around. I'm kind of, um, in a... I'm in a prank war with my grandma. Okay. And and she's been pranking me a whole bunch, and I've been pranking her back, but I just got the most brilliant idea, but I need your help. Okay. So, y'all got sharks over there? Um, are you interested in, like, a particular kind of shark? Yeah, Could... um, I'm looking for the big kind. The big, as big as you got. Well, pretty much the biggest shark that we would have would be the sand tiger shark. Oh, my gosh. So, uh, he's got, like, big claws and a long tail, but he's you know, lives underwater, that kind of thing? They're called sand tiger sharks because they have big appetites. <laughs> and they're real scary, right? Well, they're actually pretty peaceful as long as you don't... Aimed to kill. <laughs> yeah. Excuse I was just going to be so scared. <laughs> Wait. Um, when could I go down and pick him up? The shark? Yeah. You, you want to come and pick up the shark? Do they always need to be in water? Yeah. Ugh, it's going to be a problem, okay? I want to be able to just give my grandma a real good scare with them. You know, we can't... We don't actually let people take the shark. I'm going to put sharks. one in her bathtub. <laughs> She's going to put her toes in to test the water temperature and... Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just thinking about her face when she sees this thing. I'm, I'm a little confused. Well, don't worry. I'll videotape the whole thing so you'll be able to see it. Uh, did you have any questions about the aquarium? Yeah, or... when do you close? And what's your security like? Uh, we close at 6? Uh, I think this will work out just fine. I, I really appreciate all your help. Wink. Uh... You've heard nothing. Possum Pets, this is Erica. Hi, my name is Cricket Green. I was wondering, uh, y'all sell rats? Are you looking for pet rats or feeder rats? What What's the difference? Um, well, the pet rat would be a pet, and the feeder ones are what you would um, use for food as for, like, a snake. Oh, ew, come on, what am I, some sort of barbarian? No, I want a pet rat. Okay, uh, we, ha we have those. I've seen some rats running down the street and whatnot, and they're pretty mad. Are the pet rats nice? I mean, they are They are really social animals. They really do like to play with their owners. Could you put me down for, like, a dozen? I need a whole bunch. Um, there's five on the floor at the moment. Ah, well, you better pick them up, man. <laughs> they're gonna get all over the place. <laughs> no, no, I mean, there's just five available for sale. Could I train them to do all kinds of silly stuff? Uh, well... Yeah, I mean, they are really intelligent. I'd like to be able to take your rats and turn them into a little rat circus or something. Put little hats on them or jump at their hoops and crawling up and, you know, have them swing from stuff using their tails. Or... Okay. Hey, is it hard to teach them to, like, blast out of a cannon? I've never tried. I want to be able to make sure that they can, like, do anything I say. You know, I'd like to be like the rat king. They could carry me around on a throne. And I will hold all the cheese. Yeah. Hey, this might be a silly question, but, um, they can't, like, grab onto my hair and control my every move, right? Like a puppet? Kinda. I don't think so. That all sounds good. Let's consider this deal closed. Great. I'll come on down. I'll steal all, or take whatever, get your rats from you, and 
we'll go from there. Okay, great. See Have you soon. Have a perfect day.